we, we, we get all our material. Then we bought like some cows. We get some cows. Get some horses. Good. And, and we got the city right here. The town is literally right here. We can get supplies from here. Stay in the saloon. Guess we finally come. Kind of, well, she could always come to Blackwater. Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> come sit down. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the walking bastards in. in the ground. I ain't walking in. Which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> Bro, I was bringing right. him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no like one. That. Come on. She got them big old Where's pants on. Bro, what happened to you, Sadie? Mm. Bro, I take these big Sam. pants off, bro. Now come on, mount up. I feel like you I gotta help her us. because. Of course we do. <sighs> for Arthur, for Arthur, I'm a helper for Arthur. It was basically Arthur. This could have been Arthur's wife. Could have been his wife. Could have been his sister. Both like they had a good relationship. Come on, lady. Oh me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. What in the hell is wrong with you? Dog. Oh my god! I don't got time for this. What do you mean you ain't got time for this? Nigga just ran you over, bro. Let's go get him. She just gonna brush it off? That new horse? Some folk the people who asked about her horse and she's got horses are cheaper. He is. She got this big horse now. No, she just big everything. Big t-shirt. Something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but not yet. That's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. I'll come to good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, wanna talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. yeah. He's doing... Okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. Yeah, I will. Charles was 
You know That'd you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, we not just we there. not just Whenever people you though. Like. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. Bro, we not just you random people though. Touch. Like basically family. Nothing. You? No. You'd think he's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. But I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. Micah was in his air. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. It would be cool to have Sadie come because and we're not just people I, I I I get what she's saying like she ain't seen us in a long time we basically family we are like none of us have family but, but we was family I wonder what happened to Mary Beth there's a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country they'll be down there so James Langton the bounty hunter Got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state Fuck troopers. Yeah, correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. Oh, and honestly, Sadie you know, would have the most. Bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you? I ain't gonna make a habit of it. Eddie would be we the most, uh, she would understand how to be a farmer more than we would because she had one. It would honestly this be a great place. addition. It's a view, all right. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Mine. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Yeah, they got him on the back. Who's who? Four of them. Well, the bounty is the fella who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat fella with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow him. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. I just turned red. I was, why, why would we turn it red? I literally used to do that with Arthur, and that's how I thought I was dying from the tuberculosis. Is John sick? Stay back from the edge. You telling me to stay back from the edge? You stay back from the edge. Talking to me or liked it. Sorry, I ain't used to having 
anyone with me. Dr. Teresa. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. Oh, gun? What do you mean you can't outgun them? We'll head them off there. What are you talking about? Bro, what? What has happened to Sadie? You're talking about she can't outgun him. What? Nigga? You literally was shooting at an entire army. You, she literally shot at the military. What is she talking about? And survived. Up here, get off your horse. She went this to war with the military. Chance. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Man, right. Yeah, you're wrong. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's All your right. call. Can you say you want to sneak down and sneak? I don't like sneaking, but... I'll follow your but... lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. I got no top of my heart to throw a Let's go. I do got throwing knives. I got some hearts. I do got some hearts. It was so different, like not being Arthur, one on the mission with her. So used to being Arthur. We can't go around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. Keep blocking. Okay, let's move. Up ahead. Oh, nice. Another one on patrol. I'm using it. I kind of want to use the door because she's using it right now. Damn, squeaky bridges might be the death of us. Come on. Yeah, we got to watch these bridges. Pretty sure I can hit him from here, though. Possible dog. It just don't be adding up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We good. Yay! John Marston. I was this rock in the way.
Where? I don't even see. I gotta restart. I gotta restart. Come on. Oh, it's so hard to shoot without having dead eye. Like, not shoot, but like shoot a lot of people. Sadie. What is she doing, bro? She all in the way. Yo, it's so hard to shoot at multiple targets without dead eye, I swear. I have to buy I have to buy Snake Eye. Just be on your I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me. Then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> Don't it work ain't easy, John? No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine, and with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now, <laughs> mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, hey. I won't, but it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see, maybe. Hang in there, girl, good girl. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. That's cool, man. Brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. I object to this. Are we still in there with his hat? I literally took his hat. Why well, couldn't keep it? We're gonna Should've watch been able this way. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, it's all right. yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. 
We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Always good to see Sadie. I gotta find a general store because got no dead eye. Why are you acting like this? Why are you Hello, in the middle miss. of the road? If you got a problem, then you best spit it out, partner. Bro. Line up for a duel. Draw irons and then miss every Hello? shot. Hey, suck. Wait until morning. I I guess I've never gone tried to go to a store at night. You you like never be by the city. Again, sir. Yeah. Take a look at what we got. Hope you got, got some quality goods. I really ain't got nothing to sell, but I need to buy stuff. That land at Beecher's Hope. I need no hair toxin. Killed. Where is Nico? Now I'm pitching your dog down. Hmm. You just. Go back real quick. And we need uh the provisionaries and food drive us to back later, you know that. Hunting and fishing, we don't really need that. Horse care. Okay, we need some of this stuff. Should be okay. Ain't no harm in just looking. Don't find a better shop in these parts. Morning, party. Hey. That's a girl. You coming on, girl? I think petting the dog gives you a uh, hundred two. What the? Whoa! Why did they put a gun on? Oh, 
Okay, Missy. You're doing well. We're getting there, ain't we? There. I need to go to a store. Because, uh... Like you should be able to buy satchel space inside of the store because there is no camp to make it like how it was for Arthur. I don't know the day. Nah, that's messed up. Bro, you see some crazy stuff in this game. Nah, that's crazy. Like the world, it, it just moves by itself. Like right now, there could be something going on somewhere else, and we would never know. You got your crossbow back. Ah, uh, feels like old times. <laughs> It's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but I now you're worse than like a that. snake she was with a, a uh, All he does is whine. She was one of those. Whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. Mm. It ain't going to change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at I you. just remember Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Go get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Huh. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. I don't know how to build a house, though. We good? Yeah, he is right there. I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this job. I just realized, so you do. that's why they were saying, because uh, in part one, Dutch did say the dumb animals she don't was, know what to do. She was outside, and, do the horses. and John is the... Hey, Dutch said everybody had her, but John was the one that married her. Just give me a moment. So it makes sense of what he meant now. Put your back into it. Almost there. Ah! You have everything we need in there? It wouldn't be no trouble. And now, now we gonna move on this. Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep huh. working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. You said this nigga was yapping in work. 1937? Whip him if you have to. He said this nigga was yapping. Let me find out. Get him ours? Hey, Uncle pretty smart though, I ain't gonna lie. Like I don't I I don't I don't understand why they got a problem with Uncle. He's he actually knows some stuff. He just the alcoholic. He gotta cut it out with the alcoholicism. What does that icon mean? He is right though, like we can't bring That's Abigail wrong. here. We never find her. I wanna know where she's at. Like where does she go? Nice, gotta be staying with somebody. You'll be okay. <laughs> You're doing well. Easy. Settle down, okay? Was that a snake?
Was that a snake? Bro, oh, I, I, I heard some... I don't think snakes were here before. Uh, I thought I could jump over there. I thought I could jump over it. Did not work. Excuse me, ma'am. Good morning. Feed me. Hey, lady. Buenos dias. Buenos dias, man. <sighs> Don Marston Farmer. How much is still about the cost? Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. <laughs> Which house do you want? <laughs> Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. You write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. Martin? Martin? You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. Yeah, you you want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Look Devin, you with me. Speaking. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. All right, we don't need them, man. Do you, do you not? I know well, way. honestly, Love yeah. Me. Uh, uh, hey, man. We really don't need them. He must be forgetting. Or he he don't he don't believe in himself no more. He ain't confident in himself no more. Say, Wait, never mind, this nigga was using a, a red skin. I think a bit of both for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. Yeah. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Nah, I don't. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Let's take a weak ass gang, y'all be something valuable. Instead of pre cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <laughs> All right. Bro. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. 
But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. How so? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. All right, man. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh... Real good. Of like, I need to be doing this. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Neil, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. A Thor? figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil's knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. Yeah, talking about Thor. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Like Actually, said, a pretty good house he built. Is, uh, an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. Uh, there he is. They don't see all these Working guns on my back, actually. <laughs> Nils. He got a dog. Can I get a dog? Nils, it's oh, me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. Oh, you come with us? I know you're not. Takes hardwood and timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get. Not no English. You get okay. Okay. This nigga off the. This nigga off the gas. All right then. Beecher's hope. I wonder he lived by all these trees. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like. Yo, they shooting arrows! Oh my God! This nigga took all that yak, all that yak. He got hit with an arrow. Why did we hire them? Are these Native Americans? Useless. Useless. All right. You alive? No. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. 
That the last of them? I think so. There's more. Where is, is it? Got the tools. How did they? Why did they throw the tools? All right, oh stay here. Charles, come on. Help! Over here! Help! 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 Yo, what the heck? Why is it not? Why, why was it not? It's not any. What is Charles doing? What do they mean return to Charles? I was dogging the tree. I don't even see him. Oh, there you go. Bro, Charles, what are you doing? Okay, let's move. He took him down the hill. We've come the right way. The bushes. They're on top. No matter what I try to do, I try to change. I try to change. And they don't want me to. Yo, what is happening? Where's he even at? Right here. Where's Wayne? Charles, I found the tools. Right here. Oh, now where's oh, Mr. They got him. Shit. <sighs> Man, Jesus. Oh, so, like, how did he talk all yeah, that crazy back. thing? His, his wife and son. He talked all that, bro. He said Let's all go. that stuff. Back to the road. It's to get hit one time. Oh, uh, bro, man, I God feel bad damn. for his wife and son. A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? He's good. Everyone knows. Except me. Yeah, Let I don't know who they are. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he, is it bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them. Uh-huh. Oh, good. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right, let's get out of here. Why didn't you push that up there, right, John? What they do to him? Nothing nice. Push that. The, 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 the tool is gonna fall off. Goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. Yes. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this. This kind of bloodshed was meant we to be. We live right here. What was all the nonsense about civilization? 
This kind of bloodshed is different. Mm -hmm. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? Perfect. No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, uh, Uncle! Sleep. You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. know how to shoot a gun? I've never seen him shoot a gun. I don't even know if he was with us when all that stuff happened. Like, was he really shooting his gun? And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. And Abby. Morning, brother. Mr. Smith. Weapon is in poor condition. Bro, I forgot you even got to clean your gun. Oh, I don't have none of that stuff I had to clean my guns with. I got to rebuy it. Say, baby, they... I didn't clean nothing. I just didn't even clean it. I think I halfway cleaned his gun. All right, uncle. Wait, we got to build it ourselves? I thought the dude was coming to build it. Nigga, that's always happening, nigga. Why he be treating John like that? Is that an actual thing? This nigga ain't never helping. I thought dog was coming to help us this whole time. We got to better it ourselves. Hey. We already learned our lesson. Bro, I have to actually build this? All right, come on. Oh, wait. This is actually not even that heavy. I thought it was going to be heavier than this. Bro, they, they really got me. I feel like I can. Why is this bird sitting here and move? I feel like I can actually build a house from this. There has to be a video that copied the layout of this house to see if it's actually how you build a house. That'd be a good YouTube video. 
Hey, I'm glad I muted this. They playing some crazy music. All right, we got the bottom part. We got the chimney. We doing good. It's actually a cool little interaction. I, I like how they making me. They not making me do the boards no more, but I'm nailing them down. And who bird is this? Get this nigga out of here, bro. He paying rent. Actually look pretty good. Ah! Ah! Uncle help. Oh my God. Another one? Ah! <sighs> <coughs> what is this? We actually did it. Man, I can't believe it. What nigga John? Hey, it's still music playing. Now we gotta put the towels on the roof. I think this will be the first time we live in a good house. We lit up that mansion, but it wasn't good though. It was good, but it wasn't good. I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. home builder. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles. As long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. You gotta get Sadie here. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> How we got dirty Hi, hair already? Darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and... I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours. And we are going to try our hand at ranching, Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than and I can express. And the boy, Nancy, your son name. Please, that little nigga Jack too. Come back to me. Yours always, John. Look, if I had a hat, I'll put a hat on, bro. Wait, how was Abigail gonna get this letter? Is this the house from uh, Red Dead Redemption One? This is the house from Red Dead Redemption 1. I never noticed. What we missing is that shed right there. Uh, 
Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? No, Uncle ain't about to do no work. <sighs> I can't believe this. Yeah. This is actually the house from where Derry Dempsey went. What's up, buddy? Whoa, what the? Oh, okay. Getting there, ain't we? Man, we have to get Sadie here. I miss Miss McFarland too. Like I don't remember where her where her uh where her farm is at. I wonder is it here? Or like how old is she right now? And Miss McFarland definitely right. helped us out in part one. Always in somewhere. Just Ooh. one time, I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin, so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Yeah, we got get nothing to what? plant. Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... What is that? So cows, sheep, goats. You know, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, well, sheep then. But any livestock you're yeah, going to need a make... barn. Barn will take three of us six Keep months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. Mm. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. But it's saying like, so this ain't during our time. Like this I is really, like I used to. this is really Man, so I far. That fast. Come on then. Got a cut out barn. In the black water. Let's go. Dang, black water, bro. I remember yeah. when we couldn't go to black water. Now this fella probably saw you. Thought here's some. Right, we keep going to Blackwater. We used to couldn't go here. Corn husk idiot. Some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I got to respect Let's see what you do, Because if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let's, Let's get just see him work one time. <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate, and some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're... Oh, something is wrong with my horse. I don't know what it is. Like, what's that little shoe by no, my horse? It is, it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. Like okay. my horse was dying. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Darn people. Yeah, we got to get furniture. Well. You, hey. Beautiful horse you got. Uh, I know, right? Foreign. Okay. This is him. Right here. I'll be back, Snow. I said Snow.